Hi, this is Dan Sabbath. I'm the principal developer of the API and thought we'd just take you through a couple of our example applications. Um, this is the application gallery that we currently have posted at developer.whitepages.com and uh, Bruce took you through the query builder just a few minutes ago. We're going to go through uh, the maps integration that one of our QA guys wrote um, just in a couple of minutes. So this is a mashup between Google and the White Pages API. Now we're just going to flip over here um, and take a look at it. Now, there's nothing going on here in the middle of Lake Washington, so we're going to drag this icon right here over to um, the corner of, oh, it looks like Martin Luther King and Yesler, and see who lives in this house right here. This application works best when you're actually in the hybrid mode. Okay, what it does is it does a quick um, geo lookup via the Google Maps um, geocoding API and figures out the address for the lat long that you're presently looking at. At that point it makes a call back to the White Pages API in the reverse address um, call and looks up to see who's living there in addition to finding any nearby records. Uh, we can see where those nearby records are by clicking the pin it buttons and uh, that's pretty much it. If you want to try this application at home, you'll need to download the tarball and unzip it. And then um, go ahead and set that up on your own server. Let's look at another one of the applications that we have here at the White Pages application gallery. You can get there at developer.whitepages.com. Now, the application we're going to take a look at right now is the Outlook search bar. This was written by one of our guys over in engineering um, IT ops uh, for Hack Week, which was an opportunity for us engineers here at White Pages to go ahead and, uh, well, hack on anything we wanted. And he came up with a pretty cool app. It's an integration with, uh, with the Outlook search bars. We'll take a look at the installation instructions really quickly because this isn't quite the same as a regular web install. Okay, you'll need to download the sample source code. It is written in C++ um, if you want to look at the, at the code. Uh, you'll also need to download MSXML6, and you can get that from this link here. Additionally, you'll need an API key. Okay, let's see what this looks like in Outlook. Well, this is a generic instance of Outlook because I've got a lot of email and didn't really want to show it off. Switch to the contacts view, and you'll note we have no contacts. That's a sad thing. So we need to go find a friend. We're going to search whitepages.com here, clicking on this button. Type in our old friend, Captain Contact. Now, this is a fairly unique name, but if you have one that's a little bit less unique, go ahead and add the city and zip postal codes and the state or province. Uh, you'll also need to configure the API key prior to um, running the search. So here we go. We'll search for Captain Contact. There he is. Now, if you want to make sure he's the right guy, you can view a map, get some driving directions, get the listing details, or find some of his neighbors. Say you know the neighbor of his neighbor and you don't know him, you can find it that way. Go ahead and add Captain Contact to our contact list. Now, we also want to add another friend that I haven't seen in a while, Mike Smith. He's a little bit harder, um, so we're going to call, uh, we're going to specify as much information as we have and go ahead and search for him. Now this isn't the Mike Smith I'm looking for, so we're going to try to find him. I think he's in another page. Oh, no, that's not him either. Oh, there he is. Okay, Mike Smith living at 2468 Main, St Main Street. Now, I could view a map of this or driving directions. I suspect it probably wouldn't be very useful. So, um, given the address that we've got for him. Now we're going to go ahead and add him to our Outlook contacts. There we go and quit the search. Now, Captain Contact and Mike Smith are both regular contacts available to you to do anything you wish with inside your Outlook um, contact box. Here we go. The address book shows you've got anything you want, how you want it filed, and you can merge, change, you know, or uh, otherwise update, delete anything um, that you might find within here. You also have access to the Find Neighbor Search, the View Map Search, the Driving Directions, or the Listing Detail back on whitepages.com from the notes field. And that's it. A very cool app. I think actually many people in our office are using it. So there you have it.
This next application that we're going to look at is called Who Called Me? It's a Ruby on Rails application written by one of our new web developers. He was really excited about the API. And we can follow the instructions for downloading and installing that by following this link here. Who Called Me is a reverse phone application. It kind of helps you find out who's been calling you on those caller ID, unidentified caller IDs. You'll need to download the tar file and install it. It requires Ruby, the Rails gem, and a database just to get Rails started. And it runs on Linux, or anywhere else Ruby on Rails will run. Now, this is probably the best application we have for demoing JavaScript, as this one is about 95% of JavaScript, 95% JavaScript, and the other 5% is a proxy. The proxy is necessary to keep um, keep Firefox and other web browsers from complaining about cross-site scripting. It just provides a way for you to make a call back to the domain that you have, and then that makes the call out to white pages. All right, we'll take a look at it. There's not a whole lot of excitement going on here. Now we're going to look for uh, 206 973 Just give, it, give that a search. There we go. It's our friend Mike Smith at 2468 Main Street. And you'll note that he has a landline. You can do find neighbors, view map, view driving directions, or listing detail. Take a look at the uh, map. It's available here. And uh, you follow the other link, and here's the listing detail for Mike Smith, available at White Pages. All right, so take a look at the code, check out the JavaScript, and uh, give it a shot.